<laughs> All right, I'm in Lebanon, Tennessee. Lebanon. Lebanon. I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> I should know better. But anyway, I'm in Lebanon, Tennessee, and I'm um, with my good friend from years ago. Back then, it was Mary Ramos. That's right. And now it's Mary Tidmore. That's right. And she's married to Travis, and that was her son down there, There's Miles. Miles. And it's good to see you all. Anyway, I was Mary's youth pastor many years ago, and I'm going to put you on the spot. Just come up with something that you remember, or something that influenced you, you about miss. my influence in your life, or how God touched you, or something like that, if you've got something to share. Okay. The, the biggest thing I remember... Do you want to play football? Oh, kiddo, come on. Um, I remember you doing, leading us in Revelation study. Hey, Miles, step aside, please. And being like one of the first times that I had really read through Revelation and, you know, understanding from the end times. Okay. And, and so that sticks out big to me. You know, you there's, know, remember that well, <laughs> we, we, we covered a lot of ground and I can't yeah. remember all of the things that I talked about, yeah. but I'm sure we covered Revelation because yeah. everybody, every youth group I've had says, Let's talk about Revelation. I'm saying, are you ready for Revelation? Right. So, well, cool. Most people aren't really willing to tackle that with well, kids. Are we, or you have it up to that age anyway. Hi. Yeah. They don't understand that the book of Revelation <laughs> is, uh, is a lot about worship. It's not mm -hmm. just about end times events, but it's about, you know, God being worshiped in the midst of, of uh, the, the events of life. And it's set in a futuristic setting. So, anyway. Very true. Oh, hmm. I don't oh, know. Yeah. You were a big impact on, on my life. Oh, thank you. You were a big impact on me. One of the things <laughs> that I remember about you, and I, I think I've said it not that long oh, yeah. ago, is is just a, a cool time that we had. I can't remember <gasps> what river we were canoeing on, <laughs> but I remember us canoeing together. Right. And Because uh, Diane and I couldn't get along. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, but we had a great time. And yes. I can't remember, did we tip the canoe over or something like that? Because it seems like every canoe trip that I've taken, we we Somebody tipped. tips. Yeah, yeah, somebody tips. I don't remember if we tipped, but yeah, yeah. somebody tips. Anyway, we had great times. Cool. And we're continuing to have great times because we yeah. get together every fall. Uh, a bunch of the youth from that time. Yeah. Particularly, there's like a discipleship group yes. that uh, gets together. And we meet at a different campground. Last year is Jellystone, maybe for the last couple of years. Couple of years. Don't know where we're at this year. Somewhere okay. in Indiana. Yeah, somewhere in I Indiana. Know that. But we have a good time. The whole family comes out. All the kids are just having a good time. So yeah. it's just good, cool to continue those connections. It is. The kids have, just yeah. don't understand even I know. what it was that we had. But I know. Um, Very cool stuff. Kind of so whoever watches this video, and it's mainly for my grandkids, uh, just the connections that you have with people and the things and how they influence you for Christ, those are the things that last. You know, you'll have a lot of friends throughout the years, and those are good, but the, the close friendships that you have with people that pull you to Christ, those are the important ones. So. Absolutely. At the home of Mary Tidmore here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Bye. Say bye, Barry. Bye. Mary. Yeah, there it goes. Cut off.